Since I haven't been very active on my channel lately, I still have been buying Gundam and um, they have been accumulating a little bit in my closet and I have I just bought three more but I thought I'd go over all the kits that I have in my back stock right now so you guys have an idea of what's coming up. So I'm um, starting from the top I have this the earth type of the Gundam Chimeras the uh, Chimeras Trooper. Um, this is actually originally bought for my friend's birthday I'm guessing he forgot about it because it's still at my house so I might keep it for myself. We'll see if he remembers about it. If he does, he can have it. But if he doesn't, I'm taking it. So, um, yep. And then starting from, this, that's, that's the one I bought for him. Now for ones for myself. I have numbered these in order of when I got them. So let's start from the top. So um, number 22 is the 1 to 100 scale Gundam RE uh, Ifrit Custom. So I, um, a friend of mine got this for me when he went to Japan because it's a lot cheaper. Some of the kits are a lot cheaper over there. So I'm um, looking forward to that. That's going to be the very last one, hopefully, that I build. But I just bought three more, so it definitely actually it won't be the last one. So, yeah. We have three. And then number 21, I bought the Full Mechanics Gundam Barbatos Lupos. Um, I don't, I'm not planning on getting the Lupos Rex because I don't really like the design they went with having the giant arms so I will not be buying that but I did get the Lupos I did really like this design the Barbatos it was pretty nice I love the sword it comes with and some of the new accessories they added to it so yeah let's move that over there and then number 20 this is from um, Gundam Build Fighters Try Island Wars Double Quanta Double Shia Quanta um, I actually when I saw this kit in the or the suit in the trailer I knew I had to have it it looked amazing um, yeah it actually is a pretty nice suit from review from reviews I've seen um, yeah it actually cost me $31 a little bit pricey but it was actually quite worth it it's a little it's a thinner box that I, I'm used to but can't wait to build that one so let's put you there and um, okay so number 19 or 17 and 16 I skipped a couple numbers because the kits in between 20 and whatever that number is and this one um, They were just like uh, SDs and um, like the Iron Blood Orphans weapon sets so um, I just built those because I just out of boredom So I actually I have two of these my friend I bought myself one a while ago and then my friend ended up getting one for my birthday he didn't know I had it yet, so he just bought it for me anyway. So and now I have two. Might be, might will repaint one of them into like some color scheme. I'm not quite sure yet, but now I have some things to play around with and have some colors to test out. But yeah, oh, it's the Azeroth Origin. Um, it's the red version of the Azeroth. I think then it turns blue or something like that. But yeah, this is actually a really nice one when I saw it because I love the weapons it came with. The hammer not so much, but the fact that it had a, um, it has these, uh, this shotgun like thing is what really drew me towards it. Oh, found 18. 18 is the Destiny Gundam, the SDA AX standard Destiny Gundam. I haven't built it yet. I did have a death size, so that was probably, I don't know, it's probably somewhere. I bought it, I bought them at the same time, so I have that one. And then to number 15, really excited about this one. It's the Blast Impulse Gundam. It's a P by Night exclusive, but it's a little bit pricey. It was like 50 bucks with shipping in total. But um, I had to have it because I love the, the design of the Blast Impulse. I love the color scheme. Just love it. It's really great. So that one's coming up soon. Another one is the remastered Gundam C Cos the, the new Hybrid Cosmic Area of Freedom. So can't wait for I, Freedom has always been one of my favorite Gundams. I love the design. I love the fact that it's a little bit overpowered, but just enough. But um, one of my favorites. And uh, 13 is the high new Gundam Influx. This is apparently, this is Alan's suit. So it was the Majin's like, um, I guess mobile mechanic kind of guy. This is his customized suit. So this is the new Gundam with the, uh, the amazing camphor parts is pretty nice so um it's not gonna be too long since we get to that one but there it's still up there 
And then number 12, it's the Easy SR Fox Hound. So um, there are like, there, there is like, there's the normal Easy SR, and then there's like the Fox Hound, which like is basically the it in different color scheme. I guess I think a couple of the other accessories. Not quite. I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen reviews of this yet. I haven't actually done the research to see what it looks like. But looking forward to that one. Number 11. This box is a little bit crushed because it came from Japan. Um, oh yes, and the 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 influx and the Fox Hound both came from Japan, and as well as this one, the Hayao Kushiki. So it's the newer one, got a, got a little bit crushed, but that's okay. Um, parts, and apparently I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Um, I guess uh, it came with like this model catalog of stuff. So, ooh, what's that? Oh, this is just the weapon stuff. Customizations here and there. I don't even think that's Gundam. Oh, that might be my cross. I have no idea what that is, but that's something new. And like advertising for the Gundam pod. You can definitely tell this is from Japan because they're advertising only Japan exclusive stuff. But here, um, here's the uh, Hayao Fushiki stuff. But kind of really excited to build that one. So that was 11. So put you there. Why not? And then number 10, it's um, a real grade. I haven't built a real grade in a while, but it's a real grade double O Quanta. Um, didn't realize this got released. I uh, went to a store a couple hours away from me and uh, saw they had it in the stock. I was like, oh, it's a real grade double O Quanta. When did that come out? And like they had the high grade. I was like, I don't want the high grade. I want this one. So I paid a little bit extra for it and I got a real grade. And then number nine, it's the Crossbone X2. So. They had, there are two versions of the Crossbone X2. The one that comes with the cloak, and I think the gun. I'm not. I don't remember. But this one, and there's this version. It's P-Bound exclusive again. Um, but it comes with the lance. So that's the only. The main reason I got this one is because I wanted the lance. So now I have. After this one, I have two already built Gundam Crossbones, and this one will complete the collection of three. So I may get another one and repaint it into the X3 color scheme. Not quite sure yet. And uh, number eight, expecting, so you saw earlier that I have the Blast Impulse, so um, to complete the original collection, I need to get the Sword Impulse. But before I get the Sword Impulse, I have to get the Forest Impulse. Um, and Sword Impulse right as of this moment is P-Band exclusive. Can't, um, I'm pretty sure USA Gundam Store has it in stock. Not quite sure. I need to check again because I, I do want to complete this trio. But I got the Forest Impulse. Um, I bought this at the same time as the real grade and the uh, crossbone but yep um the force impulse always the face of the force impulse always looked like a kind of like a baby face to me but i still love the fact that it was actually its own thing a little copied a little bit off the, the double zeta but it was still its own thing which was actually still pretty badass took out the freedom pretty quick uh easily after like five fights but yeah and then i haven't built a master grid in a long time so I ended up buying the Hayaku Shiki Master Grade. So, um, I did not realize my friend got me the high grade Hayaku Shiki or I would, not, I would not have bought this. But that's okay, this is the Hayaku Shiki 2.0, I believe. Yeah, it's the 2.0, I don't remember. Um, what is that? But yes, I bought the Hayaku Shiki 2.0, it's actually... Hayaku Shiki always has been in one of my top 10 lists, I love it. And uh, it looks pretty badass. So, yeah, it's uh, actually fully gold. So um, hopefully these parts, yep, these parts are undergated. So that is a good thing. So that is number seven. Not going on top. And uh, for today's buy, I already opened the box to make this easier. But I will do it for aesthetics. I bought three more kits. So let's start from the one I was. I am really looking. One of I, I'm looking forward to all three of these, but this is one. This is up there. The Shiden. Um, I love when I saw it. I in I Iron Blood Orphan Season Two. I it was just a really really cool kit with mod, uh, suit to me. So it looked pretty badass. I had to get it. It was also also on sale, so it was relatively cheap. And um, the second, the, um, the next two models I got are relatively older, 
but um, I think they hold up the good, the, the, the more, the newer models. Like, I always wanted one of these, and it's the GM3. Um, based off the Gundam Mark II, but put into GM specifications. So, um, it was appeared first in Double Zeta Gundam, but then also still managed to survive all the years after in Gundam Unicorn. So, and also it's pretty badass in Unicorn. So, yeah. About that. And another really badass suit that managed to fight Kasachia and hold his own until Funnels came into play was the Star Jagan. Pretty badass suit in the anime. Always loved the design. Had to buy it. Um, at first, like, I don't like the original version of the Jagan, just the normal one without anything on it. But the Star Jagan came out and I was like, eh. Comes with extra stuff. And like, a totally... It's the toned down color scheme of the original, so it looks a lot better. So I had to get it. So, um, don't expect to see reviews or um, videos of these three coming anytime soon, so that's gonna be a while. But, um, speaking of reviews, I'm, I'm actually um, planning on changing some stuff up with my channel. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing reviews anymore. Instead, I'm going to be doing, like, time-lapse videos of me building the kits. And then probably do, like, a quick little review thing. I'm not sure. Like, just go over, like, basic weapons and accessories. Like, articulation for a model, for me now, does it really matter? Posing, and, like, it depends. Like, if you're doing something with, like, a Jagan, if you're, you're probably doing some drastic posing. But depending on the model, articulation doesn't really matter. You just want it, you just want it for the aesthetics. So, um, I'm not planning on doing any more articulation or in-depth videos. Just go over, like, what comes with the kit and how, basically, how long it took me to build it. And just the general stuff. No, like, oh, the head can go all the way around and do the chicken cleft thing, whatever that shit is. But, like, just do, like, like, watch, do a video of you guys watching me build it. It's not gonna be, like, the, the, it's gonna be sped, sped up, obviously, but I'm not gonna, I'm not planning on doing, like, general reviews anymore because I felt like having to do like three videos for every kit kind of took a toll on me and I got really I got bored of that pretty quickly but I still tried to do it but yeah so I have a couple I got like like let's see how many kits do I have to build this is three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and maybe nineteen eighteen to nineteen kits to build and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be busy for the next couple of months. I also still will be will still be buying more, of course. I just like ever since I started going on my own and making my own money, I've actually been a little bit more careful of how I buy Gundams. Like I don't buy them like in a pack of six anymore. I buy like two or three at a time. So, all right, I will see you guys at one of these builds. <laughs>